Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. Um, I called this like a blush tones makeup tutorial. I'm so in love with this look. This is one of my favorite makeup looks up to date. I'm just so in love. I like the way it looked on my skin tone and stuff. I'm using new products and stuff, new lip products, so it's not always just the same. You guys, two lip options because I know I'm always doing a nude. And I said before in my other tutorial, well, my other get ready with me, I want to start doing like bold lip color. So I gave you this kind of nudie pink lip right here, which is different because I usually do a brown nudie lip so I'm stepping out with pink this is a bolder pink nude lip and then I also give you like another um, blush tone kind of vibrant um, lip color which I can't wait for you guys to see and yeah that's it so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial now okay so before we start with our eyes we're gonna do our face really quickly I'm just going to prime my face with the elf hydrating primer I've really been loving this primer but the thing is it takes a good five to seven minutes for it to really set into your skin so I want to give it the chance to do that so I like to just prime my face and then move on to my eyes. And now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Maybelline Concealer in Deep. I kind of went overboard with it. I just really like the thick consistency of concealer that I sometimes go overboard. And then I'm just going to bring the primer underneath my eyes so when we smoke out our lower lash line, the color stays longer. And now taking Buttery by Anastasia, I'm just going to set my eyes with the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. And setting with the off-white color is going to help our shadows pop out a lot more instead of using like a regular translucent powder like I usually do. And then now I'm going to take this cool tone brown color and that is going to be our transition shade. It's just going to help the blush tones blend together a lot better. And I'm using a double-sided blending brush by Anastasia. And now I'm going to take this e.l.f. blending brush, I believe it is, and Dusty Rose. I'm just going to pop that in my crease. And that's just going to be our crease color, obviously. And now I'm going to take the last blush from the e.l.f. Um, blush palette in dark. I'm going to put that all over my lid. And I'm also going to really round it out because I want this to be the main focus pretty much. So just make sure you round it out very nicely. And I'm using an equal tools um, brush. I'm going back with my Anastasia blending brush. I'm going to blend these two colors together just so there's no harsh lines at all. And I'm going to take this true white color from the e.l.f. Natural Eyes palette. And I'm just going to highlight under my brow. I was into doing concealer, but once I have my eyeshadow on, I don't like to go back with the concealer because it can take away from the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to define my outer V using that chocolate color. And I'm going to use a pencil brush from Eagle Tools. And then I'm just going to go in and blend out my outer V so it's not so harsh. And then using a brush from Equal Tools as well, I'm going to use Dusty Rose on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the color we put on our lid and I'm going to take that from the inner corner to the middle of my eye. And then I'm using the dark chocolate color we used to define our crease, and I'm going to put that on the outer end of my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to tight line using a black eyeliner. And now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Brown with the Curved Wand. I love this mascara. It makes my lashes super long. I definitely recommend you guys go out and get it. And then on top of that, I'm using my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara just to help um, get rid of some of the clumpiness I have. And then this is what my eyes look like compared to the other eye. And then I'm going to take that first color from the Maybelline Nudes Palette and I'm going to highlight my inner tear duct. And this is what the eyes look like. I'm in love with the blush tones. And now I'm just going to quickly do my brows. I'm using my e.l.f. eyeliner in the color Coffee.
And then with a light hand, I'm going to go over that using the e.l.f. eyeliner in the shade black. And now I'm just going to set them with eyebrow gel by e.l.f. as well. And now I'm going to use my L'Oreal BB Cream and I'm using a stipple brush and I'm going to apply that all over my face. Now I'm just going to do a light contour. I'm using my e.l.f. bronzer. And using the first blush from the same blush palette, I'm just going to throw that on. And then I'm going to highlight using the first color from the Maybelline's Nudes palette. And look at that highlight on fleek. And now for lips, I'm going to line my lips with the Jordana Lip Liner in the shade Baby Berry. I'm just filling my lips in with the Rimmel Rose Blush Lipstick. I absolutely love this color. It's so pretty. And then on top of that, I'm going to use Wet n Wild Liquid Lip Color in the color Rose to the occasion. I love this liquid lipstick. It's so beautiful. And this is what it looks like. It's a very pretty pop of color. And now for the second lip option, it's the same thing. I'm lining with Baby Berry, filling in with um, Rose Blush. But on top of that, I'm going to use Wet n Wild I Can Bear It. And it's just such a pretty nude color. So that wraps up this blush tones tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. And I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!